Governor Gretchen Whitmer visits ill father in Florida. And this is a topic report that's titled, Michigan Governor Whitmer has her COVID-19 Marie Antoinette moment with Florida visit. And it's in essence, what she has done here is she has been caught going to Florida, breaking her own COVID rules and her own, her own quarantines and whatnots, going to a state that she has vilified for being open, taking advantage of its open policies regarding COVID-19 to visit her ailing father when many people have watched or not actually watched has had to bear have, having their their family members, their loved ones die without even being able to attend their funerals, let alone being able to visit them while they were sick. So this is, you know, let them eat cake. This is more than that. That is uh, uh, let them visit their families. No, no. You don't get to visit your families. I get to visit my my ailing father, but you don't. And she is one of the most draconian of all of the 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 quote unquote right left the, the authoritarian right left. That's what she is, member of the authoritarian right left. And she, by the way, Gretchen Whitmer. Just so we get a little bit of uh, a sense of uh, who Gretchen Whitmer is. Gretchen Whitmer. Let's just do this. Yes, just for a little little bit of. Uh, Gretchen Whitmer net net worth. Gretchen Whitmer net worth. Uh, she's net worth. She's a she's a she's a millionaire. So she is, uh, you know, just another one of these uh, rich. Uh, but but I, I would I would. Uh, there it says uh, millionaire, but actually that's not really worth what, what it accurate at all. Because look down here. This is where she really is. She's a billionaire. She has a net worth of $2.5 million. She comes from a billionaire family. She is one of the Citadelian families that has chosen to put one of their children into the limelight, a dangerous move. So this is who she's coming from. She is the, the, the authoritarian right-left that is uh, demoralizing the American poor, trying to convince people that poor Americans should somehow feel less about their lives than they already are. And she uses real, real racist. I mean, racism does exist. So she's using, she's using the plea of the needy, the plea of the poor, to attack the poor from a billionaire standpoint. So she is a classic Marie Antoinette in the truest sense of the term. Gretchen Whitmer sneaks off to Florida to visit her dad, ignoring her own suggestion. This is from Red State. Uh, let's see. You'll keep hearing the phrase. Well, there you go. Rules for thee, not for thee, not for me in regards to how the officials in Mich Michigan are acting with COVID-19. The, gov the governor and her staff keep telling everyone how to act, but they seem to not want to follow their own guidelines. And recently it was revealed that she, like I said, broke, broke her quarantine standards and visited her father. This is from appnews.com. Whitmer visits early. Now, now you know, I wanted to... to, to the app news is AP, so I wanted to to contrast this headline: Gretchen Whitmer sneaks off to Florida to visit her dad, ignoring her own suggestion. And then you see these two from these are basically corporate nationalist-owned entities here. So look at how they're 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 highlighting it. Whitmer visits visited elderly father in Florida during pandemic. And then from from freep.com. Gretchen Whitmer traveled to visit her ill father. <laughs> and then from WBCKFM.com, top governor Whitmer aide ignores Whitmer's warning to Michelin, Mich Michiganders. Governor Whitmer has a problem. What does she do with a top aide of hers who decided to not take her advice she gave to use to us common residents of Michigan and not go to Florida for spring break, break March of last year? Whitmer appointed Trisha For Foster to Michigan's chief operations officer, and she did what Whitmer did. She she took a little visit in Florida when she was telling all the wee poors not to, while she browbeated us for not being morally superior, for not being morally equivalent to her moral superiorisms. Whitmer defends DHS director va vacationing out of state without being fully vaccinated. The head, and this is from Freep.com. Now you see how you play this double game here with the Freep. So Freep here is protecting Whitmer, but here 
has to put in a little because remember, well, this is a local, especially the local news outlets. They really that, that are owned by corporate nationalists. They really have to play uh, a careful game. They can't be totally out in the in the open with the corporate nationalism. So you throw out a little bit of, uh, but still, even this title defends DHS director. And we get uh, the excerpt here. The head of the Michigan Health Department recently traveled to Alabama without, or Alabama, she went to Alabama, not Florida, without being fully, fully vaccinated as the state grappled with the worst COVID-19 trends in the na nation. That means Department of Health and Human Services director, oh no, this is a different one. I'm sorry. The other one went to Florida and then another one went to Alabama. So you got it. So there's two aides, not just one. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't understand this right. Michigan Governor Whitmer urges residents to suspend social activities from Bloomberg.com. So she's still saying that. And she has to urge because the Michigan Supreme Court has hamstrung her. Whit Whitmer aid post Facebook post from Florida Beach from creep.com. And then you get from here, you get from the left, you get Whitmer GOP blowback in Michigan leaves smaller set of tools to fight COVID-19 surge. And this is from Talking Points memo there. And I think that's all that I will do for this report. There you go. Gretchen Whitmer report.